everyone. I have something I want to talk to y'all about today. <sighs> so, today I'm going to tell y'all about the Hannah's Hope 5K. I know some of y'all signed up, some of y'all were there. Some of y'all tricked me into believing you weren't coming. <laughs> Maybe that was just one of you, actually. So. I prayed and prayed and prayed that it would not be cold. Because I saw the weather forecast and it was predicting flurries and predicting to be in the 30s. And I was like, no, no, I can't do that. That's bad for my muscles. It can't, it can't be that way. So I prayed a lot that it would be warm. Um, that God would slow down the cold front. Unfortunately, he didn't answer it in the way I wanted him to. God always answers, it's just not always the way that we want him to answer. So, it was very cold, and I was a little bit miserable at times, because those of you who know me know that I don't like the cold, and one of the reasons I don't like the cold is because my muscles don't like the cold. I had painted my fingernails pink for the 5K, it wasn't really necessary because I was wearing my gloves the whole time. I also have this pink head wrap that I knitted that I, I think I've worn it in a video before maybe. I knitted it specifically for the 5k, but I've worn it since I finished it, but I knew I would want a pink one for the 5k. They did it on Valentine's Day weekend for two reasons. The first, no, just one reason. I think one of the main reasons they did it on Valentine's Day weekend is my color is pink and pink is a Valentine's Day color so it just made sense to do it then <laughs> so yeah I'm very thankful for PT squared choosing me to be the person who benefited from the fundraising. We don't know the total amount yet. We do know that over $2,000 was raised though, which is very exciting. Yeah, I can't believe that that much was raised. So... Yeah, but it was very cold. Oh my goodness. I cannot talk enough about how cold it was. Um, I had a long sleeve shirt on, pink long sleeve shirt, and then on top of that pink long sleeve shirt, I had my Hannah's Hope shirt on. And then on top of that, I had my heated vest on. And then on top of that, I had my big coat on. And then I had that head wrap, but I also put the hood of my coat on. Um, had my gloves on. And then my dad, he ended up leaving after people started running because I had already given my speech and everything. And so my he had forgotten his gloves. And so my aunt had given him some hand warmers. So he gave me the hand warmers and I stuck them inside my gloves and they helped a little bit except that my fingers were still numb. <laughs> so as I stated a moment ago I gave a speech and I talked about a little bit about my story. I like condensed my story a little bit. Um, I know some of y'all have probably seen the My Story videos. If you haven't I put those in a playlist. 
I think it's six videos where I go through my whole story and all the details of it and sort of everything I've been through. I know some of them are very long though. So condensed it into a three minute speech, talked about Hannah's hopes, sort of how it formed a little bit and thanking everyone who signed up and everything. So I'm gonna insert that video right here. Everybody, just you and everything that you have. y'all could hear it I think you can I can but I also know what I was saying so hopefully y'all can hear it um it was so cold that like my cheeks were numb and so I couldn't tell if my words were coming out exactly how I wanted them to and I didn't have a microphone or anything so I was also it felt like I was yelling to speak as loud as I could but overall, I think it went pretty well. <laughs> if y'all can't hear me and want me to email you a copy of the speech, let me know. <laughs> and then I also want to show y'all the Hannah's Hope 5K t-shirts. If you signed up virtually, you should get one sometime within the next month or if you signed up. The week of you should get one sometimes within the next month or so is what they're hoping could be before then but this is the front it says pt squared 5k it's got the wings like the hannah's hope t-shirts do and then it says for hannah's hope collierville tennessee k 
because PT squared is in Collierville. And so that's the front, and then on the back it's got all the sponsors of the 5K. I thought it was cool that McDonald's sponsored it. <laughs> ah. So, that's the t-shirt. And I have worn it a few times. It's actually like the dry fit material. So, they're really nice. I was not expecting it to be like dry fit material. So, I really love it. Okay, what else do I want to tell y'all about the 5K? They had good food, hot soup was one of the foods which everyone was so thankful for because of how cold it was. Actually, they said it was chilly, but it was like soup. It's not like my mom's chilly. So, to me, it was more like soup, but it did have a little bit of a kick. Anything else? Well, I don't think so. The cold has, I don't think, affected me too terribly. I was in a little bit of pain that night, but now I'm back to my baseline, sort of. And yeah. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. So yeah. If you didn't get a chance to sign up for the 5K but would still like to support Hannah's Hope, there will be the MDA Muscle Walk coming up very soon. I'm actually already registered, but I don't have the link in the description yet. If I remember, I'll put it in the description. So if y'all want to sign up and join my team or donate, you can do that. But I'll see y'all next time. And as I always say, never lose hope. Bye.